In the past few years, progressive improvement in techniques together with recent advancements and downsizing in flexible ureteroscopes has increased the potential of ureteroscopic retrograde treatment of renal stones. As such, this minimally invasive approach to renal calculi is nowadays gaining quite a lot of popularity among the urological community. Nevertheless, the major obstacle to the dissemination of flexible ureteroscopy into everyday urological practice worldwide is the fragility and maintenance costs of endoscopes and not their optical resolution. It's been estimated in the literature that the average number of uses per scope reported by centers with great expertise in the field ranges from 6 to 15, with a mean of about 7. This means that routine implementation of flexible ureteroscopy in clinical practice implies significant spending for initial acquisition and then maintenance of these costly endoscopes. In view of all this, the Poliscope from Luminus may be the solution to these problems. The Poliscope is the first disposable flexible endoscope originally developed for gastrointestinal endoscopy but now adapted for endourological use. The Poliscope catheter body is only 8 French in diameter and delivers high quality images through a 10,000 pixel fiber optic. The fiber optic channel is sealed by a diamond glass plate which closes the optic channel tightly. Because of this, the fiber optic never comes into contact with the patient and does not need to be sterilized between cases. The catheter articulates up to 250 degrees only in one direction and its deflection is only minimally influenced by the presence of labor fiber in the working channel. The catheter handle offers simple control over catheter direction. The handle includes an adjustable stop to block the catheter bend if desired. A rotation feature on the handle allows the bend of the catheter to be orientated in any direction. The poliscope system adapts to all current video towers. The use of the poliscope is facilitated by the three-joint utility arm. The three-joint utility arm holds the poliscope eyepiece as well as the light adapter. The camera head and the light cable are connected to the system and kept outside the sterile field as well, eliminating the need to sterilize these components between cases. The poliscope catheter contains a channel for the fiber optic. The catheter also contains a channel with a light fiber incorporated, a working channel, and a steering channel with handle. It contains a 3.6 French working and irrigation channel to accommodate laser fibers, stone baskets, and biopsy devices. With the catheter stretched out, the fiber optic is then inserted into the end of the blue optic protection tube. The body of the fiber optic is connected to the eyepiece with a turn. The light connector of the poliscope is then inserted into the light adapter at the end of the three-joint arm. The poliscope is now ready for use. In this videotape, we show the case of a left renal stone 1.7 centimeters in diameter treated ureteroscopically with the poliscope catheter. First of all, a ureteral access sheath is positioned. Then, flexible nephroscopy is carried out to identify the stone. Finally, lithotripsy using a 200 micron fiber is easily accomplished. A drawback of the poliscope is the verted cone shape of its tip, 
which makes inserting the scope into the ureter very difficult, so that the positioning of a ureteral access sheath is essential when using this device. Also, basketing of bigger fragments is carried out efficiently as well. At the end of the procedure, an accurate nephroscopy calyx by calyx is performed in order to confirm complete stone clearance in the entire collecting system. It's noteworthy that the torque stability of this disposable scope is absolutely comparable to that of a conventional flexible ureteroscope and in our initial experience has been good enough to allow us always to reach every targeted calyx. Another limitation of this device is the poor ergonomics of the handle that has initially been designed to resemble a gastrointestinal biopsy device. Upon completion of the procedure, the light connector of the poloscope is removed from the light adapter and the fiber optic is removed from the catheter and stored in its dispenser so that it's ready for future use. These are the results of our initial experience with 10 patients and they are absolutely comparable to those obtained with traditional flexible endoscopes. The poloscope represents a breakthrough in flexible ureteroscopy providing a reliable, cost-effective and disposable endoscope capable of delivering high-quality images and eliminating the need for sterilization of instruments between operations the risk of tissue transfer and contamination from one patient to the next and the unforgivable case of procedures interrupted because of scope breakage.